Well, thousands of homes and businesses lost power during the five alarm fire. And it couldn't have come at a worse time with all this extreme heat. Our Cody Holyoke is live near Pearson Hadley to tell us how the fire impacted nearby neighbors. No air would be horrible, Cody. <laughs> I, I've been right here with him, Stephen Courtney. It has been. For them, I can only imagine because the neighbors here, especially uh, just about a block away from the scene of the crime, or scene of the blaze, I should say, where we are on Pierce Street, uh, have had uh, their freezers uh, knocked offline for hours. Did get some good news just a few minutes ago, according to We Energies and the happy neighbors that I've been speaking with here. Their power is now restored, so We Energies reporting no more power outages. They were as high as uh, 4,000, even a uh, above that uh, at the earlier stages of this blaze. Now I can tell you that the uh, the county has been offering these cool buses for residents to try to give them some sort of relief from the heat. And one of the people who's really been calling for that, the Red Cross is also here because of uh, one of the people here, Jennifer Rushing. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. Tell me, I mean, this has been an amazing afternoon for you guys. It has, a lot of activity on the block. What is what is this uh, meant for you? you? You've kind of been uh, championing the cause for some relief here. Red Cross had uh, survey sheets that you were you were trying to make sure ever, the, the head count was accurate. Tell me about that. We were trying to make sure that all of the animals were taken care of. That um, we had collected enough um, pet containers for them, getting them all out on these air conditioning buses, making sure that the elderly were taken care of, that the kids were all on these buses, that everyone was accounted for, and that no one was left to deal with this heat. I mean, it's bad enough that it's a heat advisory and then to deal with the fire and being displaced it's been it's been pretty rough in the first few hours it was very rough we felt really alone so we as neighbors kind of got together we got out hoses we made sure people were cooling off we got cups we got ice but then we ran out of ice and within an hour or so the red cross i mean first people started to come that heard about us earlier today and they came and they were just bringing ice and they were bringing coolers for us and one woman said to us um, that's neighbors helping neighbors and she lives a mile away um, so people came and helped us and then um, because of Gerard Washington with the Milwaukee Fire Department, he's the second in command that I've heard, I, he made sure that we had buses come from the Milwaukee County Transit System so that we could sit on the bus and finally cool off. We were worried about like heat stroke and just being too hot. And then um, there's a sergeant from the 5th District, Sergeant Statton. He went out of his own pocket, went to a store today, and got us ice water and got us coolers to make sure that we were all right. A lot of people trying to contribute and make sure that you guys are all uh, okay. And now, go inside, go get some air conditioning yes. right, and try to try to enjoy yourself. Yes. That's the latest here from River West. Of course, we will have much more on how this extreme heat paired with the fact that people didn't have power. We'll talk about the impact that had on neighbors coming up tonight on Live at 5. On your side, live in River West, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4.